Okay, we have this exponential problem on the board. We have five to the x equals eight x plus six. And we wanna to try to solve this using the Lambert W function. We know that we're gonna eventually change this five because we don't wanna work with a base five. We wanna work with a base e. But before I do that, let's get this all on one side of the equation. I think it's gonna be easier to work with that way. So we're gonna divide by five to the x and we're gonna have on the left side one. And then on the right side, we're gonna have eight x plus six five to the negative x because we're dividing. I feel like dividing by an e just to get closer to what we have here. We have a minus one exponent here. I'm sorry, minus one coefficient on this x. And if I divide by eight, we're gonna have one eighth equals x plus three fourths, five to the minus x. And then again, trying to match this coefficient. What if I multiply times five to the negative three fourths here and do the same thing on the left side. And then let's see what happens. We'll have five to the minus three fourths over eight. And here we'll have x plus three fourths and five. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull a minus out and we'll write this as x plus three fourths. So then now we actually have a match here. Now we need to be matching exactly in order to have these things match. So we're gonna do Multiply a negative one here, a negative one here. Always change the base. When we have a base of five, we can, or a base of anything, really, we can write it to, we can use this, E L N five, and notice this is the same thing. So let's rewrite it that way. Minus X plus three fourths, um, and then we're gonna have an L N five in our exponent. And on this other side, we're gonna have minus five to the negative three fourths over eight. Now, you know, I kind of did that too soon. So we want to make this match again. So we, we need to multiply by an ln five. We'll just squeeze it in right here. And we'll do the same thing over here, multiply an ln five. So now we match for real and we can, we're in exactly this format and we can, we have our E, so we can now use the Lambert W function. So we'll apply that on both sides. And so now on the left side, this is gonna just produce our, this stuff in red. So we'll pull that out and we'll clean out the board so that this way I've run out of space. So enough of that. Okay, so now we've cleaned things up a little bit, but you'll see that we do still have somewhat of a mess because we've got kind of a lot going on here. What I can do is multiply a negative on both sides and we do this and then divide by ln five. That's gonna help. And then, actually all we have left over here is x plus three quarters, so we can subtract a minus three quarters. And then we're just left with our x. But now we get kind of a messy expression here, so let's try to do a little better with this. So we're gonna have x equals minus Lambert W. Let's do something with this five to the minus three quarters. So we can actually rewrite that. As we're dividing by four, we can write that as a fourth root. And because it's negative, we can bring that into the denominator. So let's write, we'll have a minus ln5 in the numerator. And then we'll bring our 5 to the minus 3 quarters into the denominator. But we'll write it as a fourth root, but 5 cubed is 125. So we can write this as 125, the fourth root of 125 times 8. And then this thing's all over ln5 minus 3 quarters. Oh, it's, okay, we got our minute. Yeah. Okay, we're good. <laughs> and so this is actually our solution right here. I think we just want to do a little analysis on this. So we just want to know, is this a real solution? Um, what is it for a decimal answer and other, other real solutions? What we need to do is we need to kind of focus on this right here. The, the input to the Lambert W function is really the key. So the ln, ln of five is going to be a small number between one and two. We have an eight here. The fourth root of 125 is between three and four, somewhere, I don't know where, like 3.5-ish. So we clearly have a number negative, but it's also a small number that's gonna be in that region between zero and minus one over E. Looking real quick at the graph, we have this line at minus one over E. This number is clearly negative and it's clearly has to be greater than this minus 0 0.368 just because of what we went over there. So 
it's gonna be somewhere in here, so it's gonna have two real solutions. So I'm from alpha, I got the principal value of this Lambert W function here, and we get this estimate of the answer, we got minus 0 0.710139 for our principal root, principal branch, sorry. And then for our, this is also gonna have the negative one branch, this solution down here, it's gonna produce a different answer, and it's gonna be around 1.89. 6809. Sorry, and these are all approximations. So that's going to be our solution. We'll have this and we'll have our two decimal answers, two real solutions. So I got this problem from my quiz, Lambert W Challenge. You can check that out if you like. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your support.